Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install, not install, sorry, put a UMD disk game onto your PSP memory stick. Now obviously for this you will need a PSP. Now this PSP has a custom firmware installed, it's got 5.0 M33. Um, if you don't have custom firmware installed, uh, just go to a video, I've provided a link on the right, and it'll show you how to and where to get a Pandora battery and a Magic Memory Stick to install, install custom firmware. Now, I'm going to be uh, using Wipeout Pure. Okay, first thing you need to do, obviously, is put in the game. Okay. The UMD icon should pop up. That's wipe that pure for you. Now, if you've got M33 or Gen A, you should probably have the VSH menu. Go down the USB device and change it to UMD disk. Another thing you'll need for this is a USB cord. Okay. Put in the USB cord. Okay. Okay. After you've done that, <clears throat> the first thing you need to do is obviously open up the removable disk. It'll usually have something like UCES or UCUS or something like that. The number usually depends on uh, what game is in the UMD drive. So double click on it and it should have UMD 9660 ISO. Now this one's not very big, it's 340 meg. Um, some of the games that I play are 1 gigabyte, but this is why that pure. So first thing you need to do is transfer it to a folder on your computer. Should take a while. Now, a few things that I should mention about this particular ISO. Um, it's not like uh, PlayStation 1 ISO, so you can't put it into the pop station and, you know, change the pick one or the icon zero or whatever. Um, it's a PSP ISO. The only thing you can do with it is compress it to a CSO. Now, CSOs have a smaller size, but um, they have a longer loading period. Some of them have longer loading periods. Some of them have uh, slightly worse graphics. It, it depends on the game. Um, ISO takes, uh, with most games, significantly more room on the memory stick. I have a 8 gigabyte memory stick. Eight, yep. So it's not really that much of a worry for me, but, you know, after you start putting loads of games on, it gets a bit of a worry. It usually does take a while for most games to be transferred. Okay, so after that's done, you will have a UMD 9660 ISO file. Now, the next thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to uh, disconnect your PSP. Okay, so press circle to get out of it. Press select and go to the VSH menu and then from USB device change to memory stick. After you've done that, you just reconnect to USB connection. Okay, after you've reconnected it with the USB connection, you'll see the US UMD ISO. Uh, 
put the UMD ISO 9660 sorry into the ISO Okay, so after it's uh, finished transferring, now an ISO file is not the same as a PBP file. You can rename it to whatever you want, and I actually think you have to name it. So you'd name it. I'd name it this one to wipe out pure. Yes. The last time it, I didn't rename it. Uh, I was doing the Simpsons game and it came up to Sonic Rivals 2 and that was a bit weird so I had to rename it to the Simpsons game. Uh, CSO files like I mentioned before I've can I've compressed them but I'll make a, vid a different video for that. So Wipeout Pure is there. You can disconnect your PSP now. So if you go into game that game should be there. So, you know, it's it's on the memory stick. Now, I'm, I will have to mention again, UMD ISO mode has to be set to M33 driver. If you put it to normal, it won't work on the memory stick. It has to be M33 driver. Uh, yeah, thanks.